After living in Colorado for almost three years, I have learned that unless you're asked, you should never tell anyone that you're from California. Welcome back everyone and thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I wanna to discuss my experience moving from California to Colorado and all the culture shock that really came with it. I was lucky enough to be raised in California where the sun is always shining and the standards for life are way higher than what the average wage can probably get you. There's a lot of talent in California and that's not to say that there's not a lot of talent everywhere else. However, Along with all that talent, there's a lot of untalented people in California that are simply known for being clout chasers or for having clout. And if you don't believe me, then you've probably never truly experienced California. There's definitely a lot less of that in Colorado. I mean, people are way less flashy, um, more low key, and that can either be a good thing or a bad thing for me. That's a good thing. I mean, I love to be the center of attention while everybody's just standing there like flexing on their Patagonias. I'm like, hey, I'm Burger Guyan. As my good friend Wade says, too dumb for New York, too ugly for California. Along with the less flashy lifestyle, Colorado is also the driest place I have ever lived in. I've never applied as much lotion as I have these last years. I mean, you're either applying lotion or sunscreen. As you probably know, winters are pretty cold and snowy and in the summers, you can actually catch a sunburn standing outside for like 10 minutes. Be prepared to reapply lotion or sunscreen every other hour. Also beware that just because the weather says it's 80 degrees outside, when you stand in the shade, it's probably gonna be like 50 degrees. So you might wanna bring a jacket for the shade. All right, so Colorado, less flashy than California way drier, way colder than California. And last but not least, I wanna talk about this change of pace. And it's a little bit difficult for me to explain, so bear with me. In Colorado, I feel a lot less rushed than I did in California. Now, in California, because there's so many people and so much competition, everyone's really just kind of running over each other, trying to be seen or heard. And then in Cal Colorado, like people, like half the people don't even show up to like anything. You may have all these plans to do all these great things one day and then you wake up that day and there's 30 inches of snow in front of your door and suddenly your whole day is canceled. You probably can't even pull your car out the driveway. Like this isn't even up to you. This is mother nature quite literally telling you, slow the f down. Maybe if you get out of your driveway, it'll probably take you an extra hour to get to your location. Not to mention the hour that you spent like defrosting and cleaning the snow off your car. To, and like letting your car warm up. Like that's a thing I never had to do, letting your car warm up. Between the months of October to May, there's no like, oh yeah, let me just hop in my car. I'll be there in five minutes. No, honey. Like you gotta sit in your car and let your car warm up and pray that there is no snow shoveled on your car so you can get out within like 30 minutes. I am very much a 100 miles per hour kind of person. Okay, I have no patience. I have a mission. I must accomplish it. Don't get in my way and I'm going but things have really shifted since I've moved to Colorado. You really kind of grow in a different way, right? It's not just like a day by day here. It's really like minute by minute, second by second. That's kind of my favorite thing about Colorado, honestly. Like life's not passing me by. I finish my days and I'm like, dang, like look at how much I accomplished today. As opposed to in the past, I was more like, dang, I didn't accomplish as much as the person next to me did. And nobody should have to live with that expectation. If you're looking to slow down, maybe a change of pace, Colorado could really be a good place for you. Now, maybe if you're from Ohio or Indiana, that might not be the case, but a change of pace is always a great change. If you're a 100 mile per hour person like me, then this may just be the change you're looking for. And that is that everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. My name is Broker Guyan, associate broker here in Denver, Colorado, here to help you with any of your real estate needs anywhere in the US. Feel free to check out brokerguyan.com for more information. And until then, I will be here every Wednesday with a brand new episode. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I hope you're all doing well, staying healthy, stay sexy. I'll talk to you later.